I groaned, opened one eye and rolled over, my body hidden something so solid that it had to be the wall. It wasn't the wall. In fact, the solidness at my side groaned too and sat up, his face a mask of pain as he rubbed his head. Son of a bitch, the most annoying voice in the world said. I froze at hearing that voice, so close to me. I blinked open my eyes and immediately regretted it. But the brief glance around told me what I already knew. I wasn't at home, and I had no idea how I got there. God damn, this hurts, the naked man beside me muttered under his breath. I wasn't sure if I agreed with him. He didn't look hurt. In fact, he looked so goddamn appetizing that I wasn't sure he didn't walk around looking perfect all day long. You know how on the fast food commercials that the burgers always look way better than when you get them in real life? That's what I always thought would happen when it came to seeing Ezekiel McGrew without his clothes on. I thought for sure he couldn't look as good out of them as he did in them. I was wrong. He looked better. So, so much better. The man was ripped, and when I say ripped, I mean he's got every possible indention and divot that denotes perfect health. He even has abs when he's bending over the bed, holding his head like he'd just taken a two-by-four to the temple. Who the hell had abs when they were bending over? Who the hell didn't have rolls? Ezekiel McGrew had abs when he was bending over. He was also covered in tattoos. Tattoos that you couldn't see unless he was completely, deliciously naked. His hair. The beautiful strawberry blonde hair was a freaking mess around his sleepy face. And his beard seemed like it grew overnight with how bushy and messy it was looking. Then understanding of what exactly was going on dawned, and I froze. Ezekiel McGrew. Naked. In the same bed that I was naked in. I opened the other eye and stared in horror at the man, gasping. He looked over his shoulder at me, starting at the tips of my black painted toenails, pausing at the space between my thighs that was hairless, but for a thin landing strip that I'd dyed purple and ending on my face. Okay, he'd paused at my tits, but they were nothing to write home about, which likely explained why he didn't stop and stare for longer than a glance. When they landed on my face, he froze just as solid as I did and stared with just as much horror.